All right, so a quick haul from today. Uh, Dollar Tree, I think, was the only store I got anything decor, seasonal decor related. So um, I did mean to film, uh, do a haul video, but it, the recording was wonky. I didn't like how it was coming out, so I just did the uh, putting up of the garland. You see I have the one lily there. I really liked it, really enjoying the garland so far. Um, I just put the one lily there. I'm like, I don't know if it said it's feeling empty or maybe I need to have tinsel on that bottom portion. There was a question of why not the entirety. You can see that the bookshelf currently has things on it. Um, and I mean to use that upper space for stacking things. So I don't want to have it just laying on the bookshelf. So it has the asymmetry. But anyway, I really enjoy it. The silver and green really frames window nicely, really glows together nicely. And then the lily with its white and green um, features really complements the garland. I end, did end up getting two more. And I just think that comparatively to like a Michaels or whatever, that this is actually a super great deal because it's actually four lily flowers for the one and they're actually quite large, right? So here's two. Oh, let me not overlay them. Like, I just feel like it's super large and it's a great deal. So whether or not I end up sticking one back there or using them in other um, floral arrangements outside the mantle, or maybe I'll start one in here. Um, I don't think I will go, but uh, <laughs> I don't know yet, but we'll have to see. And then my wreath, the golden wreath I had outside fell uh, when I was exiting the apartment. It fell, so I really quickly just put it inside um, to continue on about my journey that day. When I came back, I ended up putting it on the inside wall, on the back of that same door. Um, so now the front door is empty. And initially, in this apartment building, I was the first one with the wreath on. I was the first one with the wreath on. Uh, and now, my downstairs neighbor has a fantastic silver wreath. In fact, I just came up today and saw that not only does she have, I'm assuming it's a sheet, not only did that, do, does that apartment have uh, the silver wreath that has pics in it, very cute. Um, they also have a rug in the front of their apartment. It says, all is calm, all is bright. It's like a dark blue. Anyway, um, so now I'm like, I don't have anything on my door. I'm no longer the special one. <laughs> my apartment is no longer adding to the holiday spirit. My sister was like, it doesn't matter, you're all the way at the top. No one's passing by. I'm like, I don't care. <laughs> they might. <laughs> and I see it. It brings me joy one way or the other, so... I did in fact get this velvet ribbon bow and this, they sell this at Dollar Tree. Ugh, look at it, look at it. And I'm, I'm not really one for velvet type products, but this is just such a pretty color. Um, also from Christmas House, what else? It's Dollar Tree. Um, so I'm just gonna put this on the door. There's a hole in the back where it's just connected to. It's just, it's also a staple on top, I guess. Okay, not hard to take off. But I might just, use this to hang it from the night. I'm not sure how I'm going to fix it. I don't know if there is space in the back here. Maybe if I wanted to, I could stick picks in here to make it look fuller. I don't know that I'll be doing that or not. But here's what it looks like in the back. Just some staples holding things together. Uh, I'll take the staples off of this back portion of the bow because that's not actually adding to anything. And then it has these plastic. I'm not sure if that means that this is like they stick this onto the door. I will not be doing that. They door this door they just painted a couple months ago. So I will not be doing that. But then get some type of fine for messing up the paint. Blah blah blah. But yeah, very excited for this. You know, very much looks holiday esque. Um, especially since on the one side you have you'll have the bow, other side you'll have the golden wreath. Very, very festive, very short days of the year. So, that might be the thing to do, is to put a second one. Is the third one too much? Maybe not. Maybe all three can work. And you have to make sure in store that these have the four that they should come with, because one of them, I ended up putting back almost got three. These are the, the lilies, not the tiger lilies. These are the... The straight lilies. The tiger lilies, 
um, are spotted one and they're a bit smaller and I don't know that they have four. Um, but one of them, that, the one I ended up putting back didn't have the, uh, didn't have the fourth one. I found it eventually right on the floor, but I'm just like, I don't want to, it came off, I don't want to deal with that anyway, so there's that. So I'm just folding them up to hook them. I don't know how I'm going to do this, I'm going to do this. That looks about right. I do have the tinsel, the green tinsel. I think I, yeah, there we go. Okay. I'm gonna have to figure it out, hold on. So yeah, I don't think actually I'm going to put the other two there. It looks pretty. I think this garland is too thin for all three. I think I would need maybe a bigger window and maybe a more robust garland. But I think I'll integrate those either into a floral arrangement in the room or into the existing floral arrangements outside. So actually I do have this empty frame form. It's a silver empty frame form, wreath, circular form. And I said, oh no, why is this? It's broken. It's broken here. I will either wrap it up or something, whatever. Um, I think I'm going to do is just make a new wreath and put this on the, I think I'm going to lay this as the foundation of my wreath. Oh wow. The twist sides are coming off. And I have it on the back here, around the middle, so that it's not gonna move one way or the other. If it moves, it's not gonna be far. What I've done is each portion I've wrapped over, then out, and I'm gonna twist in the middle, so. Not too tight, I don't want it necessarily pinching the, the loop of the bow. I tied it, I knotted it twice, and then each of the arms I wrapped around each side, so. It's pretty secure, I don't think it's really gonna move. So I'm gonna just hang this out and then I think as the season progresses, I mean that's kind of cute by itself, right? But I think as the season progresses, I'll consider maybe adding things to it. Okay, so this is already tied. Uh, I trust it, whatever. It's, it's tied on both ends, but I'm gonna still use it. We will take it. I think I might do this. That way I finally have something I can do in red. I might just put a bunch of red ornaments on it and it'll be very much like holiday. This isn't exactly a red, it's kind of like a, a purplish magenta. But yeah, anyway, thanks for watching, bye.